from your computer trying to get online to get your unemployment. Man, Governor Larry Hogan today addressing the major problems that you are trying to file your unemployment insurance. You are experiencing a lot of it. And WMAR2 News' Mally Safaste is working to help get answers to some of your questions. She was at the news conference in Annapolis and asked what's being done to fix the system. Yeah, Jamie and Kelly, there's no denying that the site had a rough start with its launch on Friday. However, people are gradually getting through. And just a few hours ago, the site's vendor, Sagitech, released a statement saying they're making progress, but there's still a lot of more work to be done. Tasked with creating a whole new system to process unemployment insurance claims for people who don't normally receive benefits, the governor said they failed to meet expectations. With all of the economic struggles, uh, that people are already going through. They should not have to worry uh, about getting the resources that they need and that they deserve. The governor acknowledged the flaws in the system and his frustrations with the site. It is simply not good enough. Uh, the IT contractor who developed this site and the Department of Labor have fallen short of the high standards that we have set and the people of Maryland deserve better, and the buck stops with me. Despite the glitches and error messages, people are slowly getting through. Since Friday, more than 245,000 accounts have been activated and over 100,000 new claims filed. The governor said they're averaging 33 new accounts every minute and 780 filed claims every hour. But we continue to hear from a lot of you unable to get onto the website and unable to reach anyone by phone or email at the claim center. When I asked the governor about this, he said waiting on the phone is why they created the site. It is better than waiting for days on, on the phone and never having it answered because we've got 40,000 calls coming in at the same time. Um, uh, some people, uh, hundreds of people are being helped, but some of them are not getting the help fast enough, which is why we're working around the clock. They've hired hundreds of people to try to get it fixed. Uh, it frustrates the heck out of me, just like it does all those folks. The governor was also asked whether he plans to fire the vendor, Sagitech. He said he's frustrated they haven't gotten this fixed, but he doesn't think it makes sense to bring in a new vendor to start from scratch. Other states have done this and had worse results. Today, the Maryland Department of Labor released some new video tutorials on how to navigate the Beacon system, and Sagitech said they're aware of some of the main problems, including slow performance, login failure, and lack of support. They're addressing these three main categories every night from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. when they take down the site for maintenance. Reporting live in Annapolis, Mallory Safaste, WMAR 2 News.